Hey guys, welcome to another liquid art tutorial. Today we're going to be painting the red arrow flyover. So remember this is all for beginners, pop this on video on pause whenever you like and let's get started. So what you're going to need today, we've got our canvas board in the middle, our three paint brushes, big, medium and large, our paint water and then we've got our kitchen towel. Now we're going to draw this today for the beginning part, so you're going to need a pencil, a ruler and a rubber. Now the pencil, I've got a HB. I did this a few times using a B4 and it was just too heavy. It mucks up the canvas. Just use a light pencil. So either one of the H's or a HB will be absolutely fine. Then we've got our, our palette. My palette is covered in cling film for easy cleaning. And then we've got the acrylic colors, black, white, blue, red, and turquoise. So for our first step, you're going to take your ruler and what I want you to do is measure the width of your canvas and mark it. And you can see I've left quite a gap at the top of our canvas. I don't want to paint any higher than this, so I'm just going to leave a dot there and that's going to be where my first plane is going to be. And then when you're ready, you're just going to draw a line straight down it. Don't press too hard because you want to be able to rub these out later, but you're just going to draw a line down the centre here. Now I'm going to take my kitchen roll, I fold it in half and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this angle here. You can measure this out or find an angle if you want but I just found this was nice and easy. And then you're going to draw down this line almost to the edge of the canvas. So now we've got the arrow of where our planes are going to fly, so they're all going to fly in a line, and then these lines here are going to be the smoke coming away from them. So I've just marked out where I want my first plane, and then we're going to add four on each side. And I'm just using my rubber to mark out a nice width between them. I'm only using the rubber because I didn't want to measure it out. You guys just make sure they're in equal space. So I've just marked out four going along here and then four are gonna go along the other side using the exact same width. Good, so now we've marked out where our planes are gonna be. Now what we're gonna do is mark out where their smoke trails are. So if you look at the bottom here, we are just going to measure out a distance between these. We want these a lot closer than where the planes are now. I measured mine as a quarter of an inch on each side. So I just did four little dashes along here. You don't have to do this. You could have your smoke trails going straight down, but I wanted mine coming in at a slight angle. So I've marked it at the bottom and then I'm just drawing the line between the bottom and the top of where our planes are going to be. So I've created where the smoke trails are going to be. So these don't need to be perfect, they don't have to be exactly measured out or anything like that. It's just to help us when we paint later, otherwise you'll be freehanding all of it and it's going to make your life really difficult. It's so just a rough idea of where things are going to be. I hope you haven't pressed too hard because we are going to be rubbing parts of it out as well. So for this next bit we're going to start drawing the planes, okay? And how we're going to do this is by doing them in various different shapes. So ignore this first one for now. I'm going to show you on the second one how we're going to make the different shapes up for this plane. Now you can look at some more close up images or something like that so that you can get a better idea but we're just going to do these quite small rough idea of what we want our planes to look like because we're going to paint them on properly later. So like with anything that when we're drawing them that everything is always made up with different shapes. So for this one we're going to draw a triangle for where the wings are going to be. It's quite a wide triangle. We're then going to do the rectangle shape for the body of the plane and a little nose on top so it's more of another triangle and then the tail is going to be a much smaller triangle at the bottom. So it's just a rough idea of what we want our planes to look like and you're just going to repeat this for all of these just a rough idea of what they're going to look like. We just want to know where they're going to be more than anything. 
and you want them all to be the exact same size and shape. So nice, now we've got all of our planes, we've got nine in total, we're just going to do a little bit of rubbing out now. So we're going to rub out the line in between the planes. So make sure you wipe away all these uh, erasings afterwards or blow them away just to get rid of them, otherwise you will end up painting over them. And also rub out any marks that you can see that you don't want there. We are going to paint over the top of these lines that we've created, but we will still slightly see them, which is what we want. So now it's time to get painting. So you're going to take your big brush to start with, give it a good wash and a little bit of a dry just to get that excess water off. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our blue, our turquoise and white and we're going to create a sky colour. Now you can do this as light or as dark as you like. You want it to be just a nice blue though. We don't want it so white that when we put the white smoke on you won't be able to see it. And we don't want it so dark that when we put the blue smoke on you can't see that either. So you need to find a balance in between the two. So I mixed and tested out first, I mixed some white with turquoise and then I mixed some white with blue and then I mixed it all together and found it was a really nice colour. So you're just going to take this to your canvas and brush it across. You can, if you think it's too dark or too bright, you can add some more white to it even on the canvas. So you're going to paint the whole background this colour and you're going to bring it right up to the edge of our planes. You want to leave the planes otherwise you're going to not be able to see them so when you go to paint them you're not going to know where they are. You just want to paint right up to them. You can use a smaller brush to do this, I'm going to do that later, but for now just paint the background. So there's a few different things you need to remember when using acrylic paint. Acrylic paint will always dry darker than when it looks when you're painting it. So if you find that, oh, it looks a little bit dark now, you wanna lighten it. And now for this bit, I want you to paint over the top of the lines that we painted earlier. You'll still be able to see them. You might not be able to see mine perfectly from this camera angle, but you will be able to see yours. Just paint over it. You, you just want a faint idea of where they are gonna be for when we paint this later. If you're finding that you can see your lines really clearly, you haven't used enough white paint. Another thing with acrylic paint is white will make every color really opaque. 
and that's the great thing about using white paint it always makes things more opaque than it is if you were just to use a little bit of blue and you wanted a light blue so you just use a bit of water you'd be able to see straight through it if you use some white it makes everything more opaque So now I've put my big brush to the side and I'm taking my smallest brush and painting the edges of our planes right up to them. Don't worry if you cover them up too much because we're going to fill it in again later and just painting between the planes as well. Now the background of our sky doesn't need to be a solid colour or anything like that. We're going to add some clouds in a little bit. Uh, you could even have a little bit of a darker blue blended in if you wanted, entirely up to you guys. But for now, we're just painting in the edges of our planes and colouring in the background. So now we've covered up around our planes and everything, what we're going to go on to in a second is we're going to start building in some clouds. So I'm just dabbing it in here and then I'm either going to use a clean paintbrush or I'm going to use my finger actually for this bit just to blend it out even more. Now the paint is picking up what the background colour as well which is why it's making it a nice soft blue colour. We are going to build this up by adding some more white in a second but we're just going to do it in, this, in all of the four corners for now.
So all I'm doing here is mixing in my sky colour again and I'm going to go over the centre bit just here a little bit more because I can still see parts of my canvas through it and I don't want that. So now I'm taking my medium brush again and I'm going over our clouds one more time. So we're just adding a little bit more white in and it's just going to build that layer of the clouds. So now it's time to get started on the smoke for our red arrows. So I've given my paintbrush a really good wash and I'm taking some white. Now the middle three we're going to paint with white. So we're just dabbing down that straight line that we did earlier. So we're just dabbing it for now. We're going to build on this later. For now, for this part here, we want it to blend in with the background slightly. So we're just going to dab all the way down. And then we're going to build layers of this up. Now I'm going to take my smallest paintbrush, it's got nothing on it and it's just going to blend the edges here. I want it to almost blend in with the background, as if it's the thinner part of the smoke. So you're just dabbing along the edges of this, making it blend that slightly bit more. So it's not a bold straight line going down, that's not what we want. We want it to blend in and then we're going to build it up with some more colour later. So now I've gone back to my medium brush and I'm taking some white and I'm going down the next two planes. So we want the middle two to be white and then we're going to go from there. So we're just following that line that we created earlier and this is where we're going to cover up those lines. You're not going to be able to see them after this step. We're just going to dab all the way down and it's going to cover them up. Now taking that small brush again and dabbing the edges. It's just blending the paint that's already on the palette into the sky. Again, exactly the same technique, you're dabbing all the way down with the big brush and then you're going to use the small brush in a second to blur it out. So this is such a simple yet effective technique to make this look so real and it's just awesome. So just play about with this, make sure you're having fun when you do this as well um, and create something really lovely. So now I'm going to go on to using the next colour. So I'm just giving my paintbrush a really good wash and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white and some red. Now I don't want a pink, I just want a lighter red. 
So you're just going to dab this on these left hand side planes and we're going to bring down exactly like we did before, just making the line down and then we're going to blend it out. Now the reason we've added white, like I said earlier, is to make a colour more opaque and that's what we want it to do. We want it to stand out, we don't want it to completely blend into that background, that's why we've used it now. So the red colour isn't going to blend in so easily like the white did, so don't worry if they look a little bit thicker, we're going to come back to it and we're going to soften it out anyway. So just stabbing down the second one here, don't worry if it's not a perfect straight line, and just get that red on top of it. So now I'm just using my finger to blend this out a little bit. You might want to use a really clean brush for it, so you could use your really small brush, give it a really good wash and gently blend it out. I'm even adding a tiny bit of white in here just to soften it a little bit. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I tried to make it so that it was softer the further away the smoke was from the plane. Um, just as if it's going into the atmosphere a little bit, I found it helped a little bit more. So if you just add a bit of the white towards the edge of where the smoke is, I found it worked really well. Now for the next bit you're going to mix your blue colour. So I'm using a little bit of turquoise and a little bit of blue and a tiny bit of white in this again to make it a little bit more opaque and we're going to do the next planes. So these are the ones on the right hand side. These three are all going to have the blue smoke. So again the exact same te technique that you did before, just adding the blue in a straight line, following the one we drew earlier and then we're going to blend it out. So remember, it's a dabbing motion, we're not drawing a straight line with this.
So I'm just doing the exact same technique as earlier. I'm just adding a tiny little bit of white into it this time, just to soften it out a little bit. Just be careful that you don't blend it in too much into the sky colour. And then again, wash your brush, blend it out to the sides a little bit more. You can even use your finger if you want, but the white does really help with this bit. So now we're pretty much done with the smoke. You can come back to this and we might add a little bit more later. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish out the sky. So you might want to add a little bit more into the background around our planes because now we're actually going to paint the planes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some red with our smallest brush. And we're just going to paint around these in bright red for now. So we're just going to paint the inside of our planes. So the shape that we created earlier, just painting that red. And then we're going to put a darker colour on it later because obviously we're looking up at them. We were going So a little tip for you guys as you're painting, I am right handed and I know this from many different times of painting, whenever you paint, you should paint from the weakest side that you are to your strongest and it will make things a lot easier, you're not going back on yourself or anything like that. So me being right handed, I should have started from the left plane and pulled it all the way across to the right and it would have just made things a lot easier. I suggest you guys do that. I didn't think about that until halfway through this painting and realised that my hand was starting to ache and I couldn't lean properly. So yeah, so start from the left hand side if you're right handed and work your way across.
So now we've painted our red arrows, what I want you to do is just go over some of these smoke trails just a little bit. So I'm going over this one with a little bit more white. You could be completely happy with yours and you don't need to touch it, but for mine, I'm just gonna brighten them up just a tiny bit more. Now again, we're just going over a bit of our smoke on the red one this time. So I'm using a little bit more red, a little bit of white as well, just to thicken it out. Um, you guys don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm just making these a little bit more bolder. So I'm now doing the same thing with the blue, just thickening in a few different bits out here. I'm going to use a little bit of white as well in a second. Again, guys, you can do as much or as little as you like. So now I'm going to give my paintbrush a really good wash and what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of black to create a little bit of shading around our planes, okay? So we're going to try and keep the edge of the plane still red and we're just going to paint the inside of it a little bit of black. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to, I thought it looked a lot better though as the smoke is kind of the highlight of this painting rather than the planes. Um, but it's entirely up to you guys. I'm also adding a few different bits of detail. So the gun turrets and kind of um, the edges of the planes as well, I just used the black a little bit more to sharpen it out.
So once we've done this plane, we're pretty much done. If you want to add a few different details, if you wanted to add more clouds in, if you wanted to sharpen things up, if you wanted to add a little bit more red into your planes, I'd let it dry for a little bit and then add a little bit more red. That would be absolutely great. So it's entirely up to you guys. So I just wanted to thank you all for painting along with us today. I hope you had a lovely VE day. I know that we're going to have an afternoon tea a bit later. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys had a lovely day and I hope you enjoyed this painting. If you did paint it, please send us your photos. We'd love to see them and please share this video. So thank you guys so much for painting along with us. If you have any ideas of what you want to see next for us to paint, please drop it in the comments below. See you next time.